I am here in beautiful Del Mar for our next VLA Western Cup Volleyball Tournament. Just got off the flight, had some dinner. Now I gotta go check into the hotel and I'll catch you guys up more on the drama. There can't be a tall ones tournament without drama. So there's two parts to this story. First of all, seven days ago, I rolled my ankle really badly. Wasn't even sure if I was gonna be able to make it to the tournament. Luckily, I've been rehabbing it aggressively. It's been feeling better. Good enough to play the Barrow. Of course, I would love to hit, but rather play than not play. So I'll continue the story after we check out our hotel room. Welcome to the room. We got double queens. Anthony already got here, just chilling. Ah, pretty nice beds. And the bathroom is the most important, as we all know. Got an actual bathtub for some hot bath at nighttime. And I love it when they got the soap shampoo dispensers. Let's see what shirt I'm wearing today. You know I gotta represent the man, Bruce Lee. Ah! So after I get unpacked, I'll finish the rest of the drama coming into VLA. So I had to step out because Anthony's taking a nap and I don't wanna disturb him. Also, Brant couldn't make it last minute, but fortunately we do have a friend, Tony Wu, who lives in Southern California, so he was able to play the barrel for us originally two weeks ago until I got injured. Now, fortunately, he can also hit, so I'll be playing libero, and he'll be playing outside hitter. I feel like the volleyball gods are trying to tell me something that I should stop trying to be an outside hitter, but I resist. This will also be our first official VLA tournament with the brand new tall ones, so I'm excited to see how we're gonna do. Third thing that also makes this weekend a little extra special is that it's actually my birthday today, so came here early with my wife because my wife has some friends in San Diego. So we all went out and celebrated, ate some good Mexican food earlier. So she's gonna hang out with her friends while I go play some volleyball. Even though I am disappointed that I can't play outside hitter, I'm trying not to focus on that because I'm just grateful that I can still play volleyball to some capacity even if libero is not my favorite position. So for those who've been following the vlog every tournament, you know this wouldn't be a Thomas tournament without an interesting backstory. So again, we are playing with the Mikasa balls and I asked a couple of my teammates to bring a deflated one, easier to bring on the plane and then we inflate it here. So these will be our warm-up balls for tomorrow. <laughs> about to pay for my burger and I was patting my pants and I was freaking out. I was like, where the heck's my wallet? I don't know if you guys can see it in this lighting, but when I found my wallet, it was on the floor next to my car. I was like, this trip cannot get any more stressful. Got half and half onion rings and fries, double burger. And now for the taste test. Ooh, this is fat. I don't know if I can do this with one hand. Got a good char flavor. I didn't even get through the whole thing. Craving some fruit. So usually I talk about a breakdown of what I bring beforehand, but I was in a rush today, so just came back from the store. Got the Gatorades, of course, for electrolytes and sugars. And you know how I love my Smoothies in between games keep my body cool, healthy sugars, vitamins, and minerals. And this is going to be sad to eat without Brant here because he always eats all of my sour candies. We both love eating our sour candies during ball tournaments. Nice to have something salty and crunchy. Going to eat my fruit tonight. And I brought this uh, upper echelon nutrition collagen supplement, which has been really helping my ankle. And I've been implementing their protocol for repairing the ligaments and tendons at a faster rate. So I'm gonna be drinking this before each game tomorrow. So three servings tomorrow, plus some creatine mixed in there. And the shoes I decided to bring, I've been loving the Dame 8s, but I'm gonna be bringing out these Nike Hyper Ace 2s cause the traction is really good on these. And in terms of lateral support, that's really all I need since I'm not gonna be jumping very much. And these are very, very, very stable shoes. And they got a pretty cool color. And each day I gotta wake up like an extra 20 minutes early to tape my ankle 
So we got a whole bag of pre-wrap and some athletic tape. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna be refing first and then we're playing Outlaws and then Ascension. And then don't remember what the third team is, but we've been looking forward to playing Ascension this whole time because they're a really great volleyball team. And I'm friends with one of the team owners, Vince, who also runs the VLA. So looking forward to playing against him. Unfortunately, I won't be able to play against him as an outside hitter because you guys know how much I love to talk trash and just knock the tall guys down. But I'll just have to wait until next VLA to play against them and would do my best to influence the game as a libero tomorrow. Not much more to say today. It's been a long day. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys that the flight got delayed by two hours. I was supposed to have departed Oakland at 9 a.m. Gets delayed by three hours. So instead of coming to San Diego at 11.15 a.m. and hanging out with my wife, we end up landing at 3.30 p.m. exhausted, just waiting in the terminal on and off the plane multiple times. So. It's been a long day. Looking forward to getting some sleep. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Day two, first day of the tournament. Ankle feels okay. Doesn't feel like it's getting that much better. Or actually, it doesn't really feel like it's getting better, but it's also not getting worse, probably because I've been playing on it. But just trying to get through this tournament and then really focus on giving it some rest. So our schedule today is ref, play, play, ref, play, I think. So three matches, lots of volleyball. Gotta fill up on some breakfast first. All right, you guys know how we do it. Gotta keep the Elevate Food reviews going. Let's try these potatoes. Not bad, a little mushy. I'm more concerned about the sausages. That's what I'm talking about. A little bit of egg. Good start so far. Orange juice and breakfast. Is this just an American thing or do other people around the world drink orange juice with breakfast? So refreshing, great way to start the day. expect the facility to be this cold. I gotta go back to the hotel and get my jacket. I thought it was gonna be sunny SoCal all day. Another benefit of coming back to the hotel room is I get to activate the Elevate Poop Program. For those who don't know what that's about, it's 100% off year-round sale. You get to jump two inches higher in five minutes or two minutes or 10 minutes, however long it takes for you to use the poop program. A few moments later. Poop program complete. This is how you elevate yourself. So unfortunately, I will not be jumping today, but that will make you move a little bit faster. So elevate poop program not only helps you jump higher, but move faster as well. And I gotta admit, because I know I'm not hitting and jumping today, I've been eating a little extra. Usually I try to eat pretty lean to keep my vertical up, but maybe that's my way of admitting my position of playing the barrel. So this is what we use for our app to keep score. Pretty cool. This is where we can watch the live updates. Ooh, nice dump. I'm just glad that we took off one set. A couple plays where I usually chase down and I just could not push off, but the nice thing is I have to be really stable, so it's forcing my technique to be good. So now I, I need to try to be better with my reading. We're gonna play Ascension next, which is a good team, but hopefully it will get better throughout the day.
That was a rough match. Played him super close in the second set, but man, we just struggled to pass the ball, put a ball away, and Ascension is a solid team, and it's just so frustrating that I can't hit and like influence the final contact and try to finish a point for our team. But try not to focus too much on what I can't control. Got a small break, which is nice because my ankle is just really hot. It doesn't hurt more, it just feels achy. Uh, but I know I need to give it some rest, so find a way to elevate it, massage it, get it ready for our last game at 4.30. You can see we're at Chipotle here, trying to get our carbs and protein in before the last match of the day. And I don't even know if I'm going to eat. I think it's because I don't really burn that many calories as a libero, probably because I can't move very much. So no offense to the libero's out there, I know you guys are always working hard, but actually probably just going to skip this meal. Still full from the burgers from last night.